Hey, hey guys, hope you're all doing well today. I'm um, going to be doing a bit of a double whammy review today. Um, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, or in this case, two Nubu pilots with one stone. And seeing as they both fly, I guess, are in some way synonymous with each other. Um, first, well, the two are, they're both from the Discover the Force line. Uh, that's the ones uh, in the US, they are Walmart exclusives. You can see there, that comes with the uh, glasses on the side. And the first one is Rick Oli. You can see that. Focus is being a little bit funny, so I'll just... So you can pause that and have a read. And the second one is the Naboo Pilot. Now there's a reason I am doing these both in the same video, it's because the uh, figures themselves are pretty much exactly the same, um, only difference being the head sculpts and the helmets they wear, so I will give you a bit of an in-depth look at both of these. Um, start off with Rick Oli, this is Mr. Rick here, these are pretty nice, really nice figure, these are both absolutely incredible figures. Um, Firstly, out of these Discover the Force figures, uh, Rick Oli, along with, uh, what's the droid? Um, G8R3 um, are the only two figures from this line that aren't going to be repacked into the vintage collection um, in the not too far future. Uh, the rest of the line, like, um, who else have we got? Aura, Aura Singh. Um, let me think. Let me think. I do have them. Or a sing. Yeah, basically the rest of the new figures. The Naboo pilot will be, and Gungan Warrior, and more Honic. They will be re released into the vintage collection, but Rico Lee unfortunately doesn't quite make it. Um, so definitely I recommend picking this one up while you can. Um, he is an exclusive to Big W down here in Australia, so that's our version of Walmart, as I've said a countless amount of times. It's definitely superb figures. Uh, they both come with exactly the same accessories. So I'll just show you. This is really nice, really nice weapon. Let me just zoom up on that for you. Really nice Naboo blaster. Really nicely painted and sculpted. So they both come with that blaster, really nice paint work on them as you can see and they also come with a robe but I'll get to that on the Naboo pilot let me just zoom back out they both do come with helmets such as this one here which does fit nicely over his head difference being is that Rick Oli's helmet has the glasses down whereas the Naboo Pilots has them um, has the goggles up over the top of the helmet and they are sculpted that way so they're the two minor differences which is the uh, helmet and the head sculpt obviously because Rick Oli and the Naboo Pilot do look different but apart from that the rest of the body is exactly the same but an absolutely fantastically sculpted figure um, really like to pick up another couple of the Naboo pilots and do some head swaps and they're absolutely fantastic figures really nicely detailed I really like the colors the um, browns and a ready t ready brown and the helmet has been sculpted rather nicely so let's see if I can zoom up on that for you a bit more really nice intricate designs with the silver beading over the top along with the goggles as well as the sort of ear pieces on the side there and of course the silver beading down the back of the helmet there so let's remove that and give you a look at Rick Oli's head sculpt yeah, it's quite the uh, large cranium here he is trying to cover up his receding hairline. Well, it's no no joke. Um, 
Well, he hasn't done a pretty, he hasn't done a very good job there. So, <laughs> really nicely sculpted piece for Rick Oli. Um, all throughout the rest of the figure is really nicely sculpted. I really like the flares of the collar on the uh, outer jacket. Just the way they sort of stick out like that looks awesome. I really like the colours of the Naboo. Um, much like the uh, Naboo Royal Guard too. Nice reds and reds and browns and stuff like that. So articulation wise I'll run through the articulation on this guy. He has a ball jointed head, he has ball jointed ball in shoulders and elbows, swivels at the gloves, there's a swivel waist, he has swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So really nice articulation for both these figures. The holster does slot inside the, or the gun does slot inside the holster rather nicely there. It's an absolutely fantastic figure. Now I'll go on to the uh, Naboo Pilot. Straighten out the camera again. So as you can see the helmet is slightly different. Um, the way it's been sculpted, the goggles are on top of the mask as opposed to covering the eyes, like Rick's. Um, very similar. Well, the rest of the rest of it's all the same. They do both come with the uh, cloth robe, which is a really nice colour. I really like that. So I hope you guys can see that reasonably well. It's almost orange, but it's also brown at the same time. Very nice, vibrant orangey brown colour. I do have just an elastic band wrapping around him at the moment just to sort of hold it in place. This is a really nice robe actually. I really like the way they've done this. I've had a lot of attention to this robe so very nice. Just pop this off and give you a look at his head sculpt. So it's pretty much a generic sort of face with the Naboo pilot. It'd be nice to I'm gonna do a little bit of head swapping and see what see who fits and who doesn't and whether I can pick up a few of extra a few extra figures and uh, do a couple of head swaps. So I can have a few different looking pilots, so I reckon that's really nice. So like I said, his articulation is exactly the same, so I don't need to go into that too much. But I definitely recommend picking this guy up, and uh, if you do miss out on him, um, do hold tight, because this one will be released into the Vintage Collection very soon this year, so if you miss out on the Discover the Force line, um, definitely you'll be have another chance to get him. So these are very nice figures, they go work really well together. So it would be nice to get a couple more a couple more of the pilots to go with Rick Oli. So I hope you've had a decent look at these figures guys. Um, like I said I just thought I'd do two at once seeing as they are pretty much the same figure so um, minus everything above the shoulders is the same, Every is different so um, everything below the <laughs> shoulders is different, is the same. Oh, and I'm hopeless today, I'm sorry guys. Um, so that'll just about do it I think. Um, yeah, well, just tell me what you think and any feedback is always appreciated. Really, really like reading all your comments and all your thoughts. So definitely hit me up. So thanks for watching as always guys. I will be back with another review very soon. I've got Aura Sing coming up. And then I'm going to have to find something else. <laughs> and then I'm going to have to hunt through. Um, might, do, might do a few older figures. Um, give the original trilogy a bit more love. I've got a couple of ideas in mind that I'd like to do reviews of. So definitely stay tuned. So until next time guys. 
hope you all have a fantastic rest of week and I'll see you all very soon so until then may the force be with you ciao